Yes, you see right. This is the very first Ubuntu phone of the world. I am proud to present you today here from Munich, Germany, where the CTO for the first time showed this device for the press. Yeah, Ubuntu, of course, you know the operating system. Now for the first time, it's available mobile. And the big advantage, at least in my opinion, is that you have total control of your data. As you know, all the problems with, for example, Google, Android, Windows Phone, you do not know what the operating system and especially the apps are transferring to the, um, to the cloud. So here you know everything is stored locally on your phone. Whenever you want to have anything going to the cloud, you have to do that uh, for yourself. Um, at the moment, I do not have any network connection here, uh, but uh, nevertheless, you can imagine how a browser is looking like. I just want to show you that here from the left side, you will have the um, apps you have opened for the um, for the moment and some fixed app like camera, like camera or settings here. Just tap on this one. Settings are looking the same uh, like in Android, for example. This is nothing what is surprising me, but you have um, here down there, this is something really new called scopes or maybe on other manufacturers that would be a uh, called a hub for example because you have now here several cards you can see the little dots over here for example this is the apps scope meaning this is what is a classical app launcher here you see all your apps uh, for example the browser again or clock or whatever you want to see let me go back to these and you now can scroll left and right through the uh, through your um, uh, scopes and for example this one is a good um, thing i can show you that you can now have gathered all your information you want to in one scope in one place here for photos for example coming from flickr facebook from your um, contacts or from your phone by the camera itself by the way all the specifications are the same like on the Aquarius M4.5. See for this video over here. So sp same specifications without LTE 4G is just uh, 3G UMTS because again you have dual SIM and the problem like the CTO is telling here was to get under um, Ubuntu dual SIM LTE this is not possible at the moment or at least complicated so at the moment this is 3G but I'm guessing this is not staying the last uh, Ubuntu phone by BQ yeah uh, I do not have any network connections but you can get, uh, imagine how here are some news gathered or music or whatever you know what scopes are now like and uh, you can go here from the upper corner there and can configure what you want to have for example I do not want to have these two over here but uh, get me this one and then now highlight it as a favorite go back like this and have now here uh, it's empty of course but you know what I mean you have now the new scopes here on the end so very easily and something I really like for the optics is here this is kind of the task manager you can uh, flip through see what kind of apps you have opened the only thing I would do a little bit better here at the moment is just uh, where is the hell which of these cards are now at the moment my scopes is it this one this is an empty one I do not know go back to this one uh, let me see here uh, for example this one these are the settings so you know what I'm meaning now I'm going to this one here no this is not my scope too so this is a little bit a problem so you can of course have this uh, shortcut here but nevertheless I would prefer to have it some uh, special optics uh, other background color frame whatever to see at the first view this is uh, my scopes card nevertheless no problem at all for the usage and really really good idea from the top you draw your uh, uh, message center this is not the big deal but first of all you can scroll through them have different tabs here Bluetooth uh, network and whatever and now here we go if you're going on the icon in the upper row over here for example on the battery icon scroll this down you directly start in this category or for example go to the messages yeah it's empty I know I have no messages uh, or go here to the networks again this is even with my big fingers here this is working very precisely I'm very um, astonished that this is working very precisely it's okay uh, you can really use this very uh, um, intelligent on in an intelligent way and 
first thing. You can almost totally use it with one thumb. Of, co of course, it's 4.5 inch only, but nevertheless, uh, all these gestures are uh, you can use with one thumb. Only this one here from the opposite corner, from the right corner, needs a little bit practice, but you can handle it. Let me call it like that. And um, this is the first. And second is that it's really after, let me say, five minutes of usage of this phone, I really really do not have it any longer in my palms for five minutes, believe me, and I know how to use it. This is totally intuitive, even more than WebOS, for example. I loved WebOS, but it was a little bit complicated. It took me more than five minutes to know all these gestures because uh, these are very simple and very few, and you know um, uh, how to use it after five minutes. Great. But nevertheless, mind the words of the chief technology officer who uh, two or three times told us this is not a phone for everyone. This is made uh, at the first line for uh, Ubuntu developers to have a device to develop new apps and scopes and whatever. Of course, you can buy it for just 169 euros, at least here in Germany, Europe at the moment, right now. That's very kind of cheap for a 5.5 uh, inch phone, uh, but you have to know what you're doing because first of all, the uh, you have totally new updates every week or something like that that uh, can change almost everything. And especially you do not have uh, you have a app store, but it's not that like uh, iOS or Android. Uh, I do not uh, get any ma uh, any number at the moment uh, how many apps at the moment we have in the Ubuntu store, but never. Nevertheless, they are few compared, very few, to uh, Android and iOS, of course. So if you have some apps you wouldn't um, go without, you will have, I guess, a problem with this one because you have, of course, Facebook, WhatsApp, yeah. But it's a little bit, if it's a little bit special what you want to have on your apps, you will get in trouble, I guess, at, at least at the moment under Ubuntu. So you have to be aware of this one. But if you're interested, if you know what the hell Ubuntu Ubuntu is and love it, then you can buy starting from now on on the website of BQ. Yeah, well, I hope this is enough for a first impression of the very first Ubuntu phone of the world, the BQ Aquarius M4.5 Ubuntu Edition. Thanks for watching and please be so kind to recommend my channel to subscribe to it. Thanks for that in advance and take care.